This movie describes how to use the collection of six balance activities. Here we have a balance, and we have five shapes that we can place onto the balance. Let's start by dragging a star onto the left pan. The balance tips to the left. How can we restore the scale so that it's balanced? Well, since the star has a value of 5, I can drag the circle with a value of 3 and a triangle with a value of 2. So 5 is equal to 3 plus 2, or star is equal to circle plus triangle. To move all the shapes back to the left, I press reset, and now I can explore other ways to drag shapes onto both sides of the balance so that both sides are equal. If I'd like to change the value of any of these five shapes, I can do that easily. For example, if I'd like to change the value of square from 4 to, say, 6, I simply highlight the 4 and type 6. Now if I drag a square onto one side, I can balance it with two circles, each with a value of 3. The next activity in the collection uses letters, A through F, instead of shapes. Here, our goal is to balance the N that sits on the right side of the balance. Currently, it has a value of 30, and these are the value of the other six letters. So to balance 30, I'm going to drag my E, my D, my C, and my B onto the other side. That creates a balanced equation, since 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 is equal to 30. When I press New Problem, I get a new value of n, always between 1 and 63. And the amazing fact is that it's always possible to balance n using some combination of just these six letters on the left side of the balance. Our next activity is based on inequality. Each of these five shapes has a secret value, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And our goal is to figure out which shape has which value. To do so, we can pick shapes and drag them onto the balance. For example, I might drag a square and a circle onto the balance, and I discover that my circle is heavier than my square. That gives me some information about the possible values for the square and the circle. By continuing to drag shapes and keeping track of the information, I can figure out the value of all five shapes. In the next activity, which involves solving for unknowns, we're told in our first problem that the value of the star is 12, and we're asked to figure out the value of the other shapes. So if I drag a star onto one side, let's say I now start to drag some squares onto the other. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I see that six squares balance one star. And since star has a value of 12, that means each square must have a value of 2. Repeating this for the other shapes allows us to figure out their values as well. In the next unknowns activity, we drag some stars and squares onto the left side of the scale. So let me drag some there now. And then we're going to drag some circles and triangles onto the other side. So we know the values of the star and the squares, and we know the values of the other shapes. But our scale doesn't balance. Our goal is to make the scale balance by changing the value of the heart. In our next unknowns activity, we're asked to find the value of different shapes. In this case, we're asked to find the value of a circle. So notice that we have some shapes that are common to both sides. For instance, there's a square on both sides. So if I take a square off the left side of the balance, I can also take a square off the right side so that both sides are now equal. And similarly, I can remove a star from both sides. This allows me now to figure out the value of the circle. Finally, many of these activities I've just shown you come with a make your own page. Here, for example, students can create balance problems for themselves where they ask their classmates to solve for an unknown value of one of these five shapes 
by dragging shapes onto both sides, making sure the balance doesn't tip to the left or right, and assigning values, and then hiding one of the shapes. For instance, if I want my partner to figure out the value of the triangle, I'll hide it. So this describes how to use the collection of balance activities in the early algebra portion of dynamic number.